Hello everyone, it's Chris Pritt back again with a new video. Now this video is a little bit different than a lot of the other videos that we've put forth where I'm just talking about um, some information about the law in West Virginia when it comes to family court. What we're going to be focusing on with this video is the coronavirus and how that affects our practice, what we're going to be doing going forward until we're past the crisis, and um, what you can expect from us as well as what you can expect from the court system. Now, one of the things I want to point out is that um, we are still open. Governor Justice recently issued an order in which um, certain categories of businesses are considered to be essential services. Uh, you may or may not have uh, that as your job, but a law office is, is considered an essential service. So I'm actually here at my office. Uh, some attorneys are working from home, others aren't, but we are open. And I just want to make that super clear to everybody. Now, that being said, even though we're open, doesn't mean that the courthouse is open in the sense that it normally is. If you go to um, the courthouse, you're probably going to find that it's closed except for certain emergency situations. Uh, I have, I've been having court over the past uh, few days. Um, I just had an emergency hearing uh, earlier today but that's the, the critical language. It's an emergency hearing. And what the courts are doing is, number one, if there's any kind of trials that have been said, all those have been pushed off for a couple of weeks, okay? So there's no trials going on right now. What the courts are hearing, though, is emergency hearings. So for example, domestic violence petitions, um, uh, if there's issues with regards to people's speedy trial rights, generally speaking, um, emergency matters in certain categories of cases are being heard, but they're supposed to be heard, if at all possible, telephonically. I had a telephonic hearing earlier today, and, um, and so the, I just wanted to give you an update on that about what the court system is doing. Now, just because uh, the court system is closed doesn't mean that things are totally going to stay still. We are continuing to work on our cases. We are continuing to represent our, our clients and trying to get things moving along as best we can. Now, one thing we don't know as of right now is how long this crisis is going to last. And um, we're just, I'm, as of right now, I'm just trying to make sense of it and do my best to represent my clients in the best way possible. Now, so we've implemented some, some things with our office that I'd like you to know about, okay? So, number one, we are still continuing to have consultations. Those can and actually have to be arranged over the phone. My interpretation of Governor Justice's order is that going to and from one's attorney's office does not fall within the, the order. Now, there, somebody else might have a different interpretation of it. I don't interpret it that way. Okay, so I think that any kind of contact between myself and any clients is going to need to be done over the phone. So that being said, if you're a potential client and you wanna set up a telephonic um, conference, we can certainly make that happen. If you're a current client, um, you can certainly make it a, a time to meet with me uh, over the phone. Now, one thing that I do want to note is that some of my clients have my cell phone numbers, some of them don't. So sometimes I'll, it'll be necessary for me to give it out, and in the past, other times it hasn't been necessary. This is what I want you to do. If you do not have my cell phone number, I want you to send me a quick email, chris at pritlaw.com, and say, hey Chris, can you give me your cell phone number? And I'm happy to do that. So that's one thing that we're going to be doing. Also, in the meantime, we have a call answering service that's going to be available between 8 o'clock in the morning up until um, the later hours in the evening. So what I would like you to do is take advantage of that uh, to, if you don't have my telephone number. What will happen is somebody will call, um, for example, after hours, and um, they will call me, and I may or may not be available to pick up, but at a minimum, I'm going to get the message. They're going to send me an email. So that's one thing I want you to know. So if, if there's any kind of emergency situations that come up that would require law enforcement, I certainly want to encourage you to take advantage of um, our emergency services here in West Virginia. Call 911 if it's an emergency and um, 
go from there. I mean, whether you can get a hold of me or, or not, if you think it's an emergency situation, make the call and be safe. So that consists of uh, today's video. If you have any questions at all, feel free to give me a call, send me an email, and, uh, and I'll respond as promptly as humanly possible. And again, we're having consultations, we're having telephonic meetings, we are in emergency situations uh, having court over the phone. Okay, but remember, it's only an emergency situation. And if you have a question about whether it constitutes an emergency, just give me a call and we can talk about it and figure it out. Again, this is Chris Pritt and I hope you have a great day.